Welcome to Design Santa Barbara. I'm Michael Kurosh, and today we are in Santa Barbara Design Center with historian, philanthropist, and dementia care advocate, Dana Nyquist. Dana, thank you for taking time to talk with us. Can you tell us about some of the interesting individuals you have known in Santa Barbara over the years? I've been very fortunate, and you know, having been in so many industries, the pharmaceutical industry, uh, the computer industry, the video industry, Alzheimer's industry. Um, so there's a big mix of people that I've met over the years. Um, and I, I've been very fortunate. I mean, starting with the, let's say, the, uh, uh, the computer world, I've met Jobs, Wozniak, Markula, uh, Adam Osborne, <laughs> my first Microsoft rep was a guy named Bill Gates, and that was... <laughs> That's that your was first rep in Microsoft. Locally, I mean, David Myrick was a, a big influence on me. Uh, I met a lot of celebrities, you know, I mentioned Jay Leno and... Well, the next question is related to that. The next question is, Santa Barbara has been home to many famous faces from Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Who are some of the most recognizable that you know have lived here? I've got to jump into um, my affiliation with uh, Kirk Douglas and Ann Douglas. Um, I just saw them Friday night. They, they come up here now maybe once a month. They used to come up here every weekend. Um, but I was fortunate enough with Andrea to go to his 100th birthday party, which I, you would probably call that the birthday party of the century. I mean, everybody who was, anybody was there as far as Hollywood was, go, was going. So um, I was flattered to have been in that company. Um, but, you know, uh, they're sweet people. They also had their staff there. Uh, there were probably 200 to 250 people at the Beverly Hills Hotel. And it was a, just a wonderful event. So um, there were many people that gave him tribute. Um, Spielberg did, and uh, of course his son Michael and most of his family members. Um, so that was a, an extreme honor to know them and be affiliated with them. And that's, that's another thing that'll be um, valuable to the Montecito Historical Archive because we've gotten a few pieces from his archive that we're going to save. Andy Granatelli is another good friend who has passed and I spend a lot of time with Andy Granatelli and obviously he's of the car the world. Car yes. Yeah, um, and I, I still see Dolly Granatelli very often. Um, and those are some that come to mind immediately. Please tell us more about the work you're doing to keep our vibrant history alive. Well, working with the Montecito Historical Archive, which is a DBA uh, Montecito Museum, I got involved uh, with Bill Dedman. Basically, I got a phone call and uh, Jim Hurley was the attorney for the estate at Bella Squardo. Um, I guess Bill got my name through Jim Hurley. Anyway, uh, with David Myrick's archive, I remember having lunch with David, which we did very often, and he talked about the Clark estate very often, talked about who get Clark. He actually had conversations with her, which I weren't described too well with me other than the fact that David had collected a lot of materials about the Clark estate. He had all the uh, architectural plans for it. And anyway, uh, probably a year before the publishing of uh, Empty Mansions, I got a call from uh, Bill Dedman. He, he needed some information about the Clark estate which I was able to dig through the archive, David Myrick's archive, and find for him. I and the Montecito Historical Archive are 
are mentioned in the book as contributors. Anyway, so we arranged a, a series of talks with Bill Dedman and Paul Clark Newell, which was co-author of the book. And they came to Montecito and Santa Barbara, gave a series of talks. Uh, the biggest one uh, we sponsored at the uh, Montecito Country Club. And it was a sold out deal. Um, Bill Dedman talked, Paul uh, Newell talked, of course I talked, I introduced him. And the interesting um, sub-story here, which I tried to promote, was the introduction of uh, Barbara Duran. Barbara D Duran Holsher was her last name, or her maiden name. Her father, Albert, was the uh, head caretaker at Bella Squardo. So she grew up on the estate. Anyway, so at the end, the last segment, uh, she came on. And she talked about her experience growing up at Bella Squardo and having tea with uh, Huguette. And she absolutely took the breath out of the whole audience. She was awesome. And it's because of that uh, and also the encouragement by uh, Bill Dedman, uh, we both egged her on to write her own book, which she has done. And I have uh, a manuscript of that book. It's not finished. And we hope to get that published. And it's called Enchanted Childhood. When we come back, I want to ask Dana about the incredible story of Bella Squardo Estate. Stay with us. You're not going to want to miss this. <laughs>